what is up you guys indigo here welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a good day this is your nxt great american bash review i honestly did not expect to um review in this show but there is something i wanted to talk about that captured my interest and that's um what's his name gable steveson his debut we're gonna talk about it um, please like the video, comment, if you're new here, subscribe, I would like to have you here, thank you to all the new subscribers, trying to grow my channel, if you miss any videos on the channel, check it out, check it out, it's there, it's gonna be a busy week for my channel, so if you wanna keep up, if you wanna keep updated with what I got going on, turn the bell on, thank you, um, NXT, if you been, First of all, first of all, NXT is not the same no more. We all know that. It's literally developmental now at this point. But there's two people there that... Well, I should say there's people there that I do see... You know, I do see them being successful on the main roster. Tiffany Stratton, for example. Roxanne Perez. People like that. Ilya Dragunov and Carmelo Hayes had a good match. Um, my my personal favorite match of the of the show probably I, I really enjoyed the tag team match because I, I I like Tony D'Angelo. I, I think he's I think he's great. <laughs> I see him. He's another one I see like he's gonna be fine on the main roster. By fine I mean at least some type of success. But Tiffany Stratton, she's probably my favorite in NXT right now. She, she's, I see her taking over Charlotte. Whatever Charlotte is right now, I feel like that, that's going to be her. Because she, she literally checks off everything. Um, Roxanne Perez, that's Bay right there. That's that's a beautiful woman, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, shout, shout, shout out to my, my nigga Cam. Feel me? That's, that's Team Indigo. Feel me? Let me stop. Um, she had a. I liked her match with. Um, I was about to call her Bia Prisley. Um, Blair Devaport. I believe that's her name now. It's great to see her back. She's she's somebody that's fucking great at what she does. Um, Judgment Day. I got a Judgment Day video coming. After Raw tonight. Look out for that. Um, triple threat match, Dominic, Mustafa, Mustafa Ali, and Wesley. I thought this was okay. Um, Judgment Day is not pulling the numbers. I don't know why they, I don't know why they are on NXT. Sometimes they on SmackDown, sometimes, you know. If it was up to Vince, they would be on TV every day of the week. But, Gable Stevenson versus Baron Corbin. Not a strong debut in my opinion. They, I'm, I'm getting tired of them comparing. I keep, I'm getting tired. I'm tired of them calling him the next Kurt Angle. I'm just tired of hearing of oh, so and so is the next so and so. That needs to stop because these people are one of a kind. Can't just duplicate that. It's not going to be a next insert legend like that. Needs to stop. These people. I'm pretty sure they want to develop their own shit. They don't want to be looked at as the next so-and-so. But, I would say this. I grew up I grew up in the Attitude Era. I saw Kurt Angle when he first came in. They they had, they was going to have him as a baby face, but Vince was smart. He took a chance and he, he had Kurt going as a, he had Kurt really start off as a heel on TV. And that that was great. Hill Kurt Angle back then was great, and I I hope they, they should do that with with Gable because I don't see him getting over right now as a babyface. They was booing him out the fucking building type shit. So we'll see what happens there. I'm not really, you know. I'm not saying oh I'm I'm excited about what he's going on. Nah, nah. That's my thoughts on Great American Bash. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all for the next one.